Hey, hi all. In this video, we will discuss about Salesforce Inspector Reloaded. It's an extension, a Chrome extension. With the help of this extension, you can easily query, query your data and you can perform the insert, means like the DML operations which we, which we generally perform in the Salesforce. That is insertion of records, deletion of records, or updating any particular records. So let's start. So first, you have to have that extension you will get that in chrome app store then it will be like this uh, this is the one salesforce inspector reloaded so once you open this your salesforce org then once you click on this <coughs> sidebar side arrow then you will get this thing if you click on the data export so as it's name suggest it will provide you provide you display or a screen or a canvas where you can query your data so i'm running a query so it is returning 12 records we have 12 records in the system uh, in our org as of now so if you want to save this query you can hit save this query and then you can check what are the queries which you have saved <coughs> If you go to the query history, you will know, okay, fine, this was the query which we ran last time. So if I add account number to it, as soon as you will start typing it, it will prompt the fields which that particular object has. So if you go to this, this is the account number which we can add. Then I will again run the query. I will save this query also. Then if you will go to saved queries, there are two queries in it. Then in the query history there are two there are some of the generic templates available you can use one of this and then <coughs> on top of that you can write the object name in this case account where then you can write the where condition as per your requirement if you want to clear it you can clear all the history will be cleared okay there will be two saved queries as we already have saved them clear saved queries yes so there is no query which is saved okay if you want all the deleted records also to be included in this result then you have to select on add deleted records for an example if you are looking to query a custom label that is external string it will not be available here be it is in the tooling api so now if you go so it is external string so this is a custom label if we have any custom label in the org that will appear once you click on this particular id you can go to show all data query the record view in salesforce or you if you want to go you can copy that id So it's a custom label as you can see so it's a custom label it has some value in it okay so in this manner if you want to uh, want to query any object which is a part of tooling api then you have to select this otherwise it will not be there okay so it will throw an error stating that as object type this is not supported okay in the same manner <coughs> if you click on this This will give us <coughs> all the things about that particular object, like what are the field APIs, what are the label, what are what is the type of that particular field. Then we can filter on that fields. We can filter on the relation, stating that if it is a, a parent-child related relationship or what type of relationship it is. In that manner. <coughs> then again, means like we, if you want to change anything in the or we can go to that. So this is all about this query thing, like the first thing which we have that is data export. How various, what are the various ways by which we can export data from Salesforce? Like it's the <coughs> simplest, oh, I think so, UI or to get the records which you want. Once you click on this, you will get all the fields, whichever you want to add, you can add that. If you want to export the query, you can export that also. Once 
we have to query it then only we will be able to export it and then we have an option if we want to export it in excel format csv format or json format we can do that stuff if you want to delete all the records you have to just click on records so as you can see this will be an auto mapping but in this we have to select tooling because it's a tooling api oh sorry delete so for an example i will go back and i will look for apex log it will not have any impact in the org log is an object where we have the logs created so i want to delete all the logs which are created so just we have to delete the records delete apex log run delete it it succeeded all the records are deleted now so if i again run that query there will be no record as of now so there is no data exported okay so in this manner it it is very easy to delete the records like for an example you are debugging something and there are multiple debug logs created so just go to the apex log and just check for the records okay five twelve thousand twelve thousand records are there just hit delete records it will auto map the id fields and it will delete all the records okay in the same manner if you have any data import operation like insert something like that so for an example we will again go to this and we will say account and then we will have run export so this is the export copy excel format and we have copied that i will paste it here so it's the same format if you want to change anything you can copy it in the <coughs> you can copy it in the excel and then there you can change the names whichever you want and then you can run the update operation if you see this is auto mapping the id field has been mapped the name field has been mapped if you want to change it you can change it from here okay i will update operation i will in the update operation so it's updated if you want to delete this records you have to select delete for delete this is not needed only id is required that's the reason it is showing in that manner so in this manner you can delete the record you can undelete the records uh, you can absurd a record or you can insert the records so you, you can perform various oh, dml operations then moving ahead we have the org limits if you click on so these are the org limits which we have like how many oh things we have consumed like the permission sets or uh, the <coughs> file storage in mb how much we have consumed out of the total data which we have so if you see there are zero of 1500 consumed so all are left because i have not created any permission set as of now in the in this particular instance moving ahead in the same we have download metadata if you want to download the org metadata then you can select all or you can go with the uh, things which you want to be part of this particular thing so you can select labels if you want to download the metadata metadata will be downloaded so if you see all the labels will be here in the single file <clears throat> okay so why labels not i think so i have deleted the labels that's the reason that is getting finished okay so this is about downloading the metadata whichever you 
looking for then we have explore api in the same manner we have users if it is showing for the current user if you want to go to the details of that particular user, uh, user you can go there or if there is any shortcut defined what are the what is this org org id what is the instance name it what edition it is and when this will be there the next maintainer so this is all about the salesforce inspector reloaded it is very helpful for developers as well as for <coughs> administrators or the person who is supporting a salesforce instance you can easily go to this particular layer uh, ui and you can easily query means like it's a query editor only you can easily query because if you have a number of fields uh, might be you have more than 100 200 fields and you are not aware of the uh, name of that particular field then you can just you can just try with the while entry stating that okay fine it can be any type field so when you when you write type so all the things which have type in it will be appearing here so you can it will be easy for you to select the field out of this particular thing like stating that okay fine this is the field which i was looking for then you can easily navigate to that particular field and you can get the exact data which you are requiring so that's all for this particular extension it is very helpful and uh, it is uh, it is mo most of the things uh, as a developer which you do like querying the data and then using that in, into particular uh, apex classes and looking for a particular uh, queries where you are you are thinking of like uh, if a created date uh, is in the last 10 days or last 10 weeks so what all is supported you can check here for an example where created so i'm talking about created date so in the created date what are different options uh, we have like last 10 quarters last 10 weeks last n years then this week last week today tomorrow yesterday next week next year so all the things you will get here you can easily just click on this it will be there then accordingly you can use it okay thank you